hold on to your headphones. We're talking AI in audio production. We all know about AI and it's taking over the world. Check these recent articles. But in this video, I want to explore how AI will revolutionize audio production, making it easier to achieve professional sound quality even if you're just starting out. We also talk about how AI can threaten traditional jobs in the industry, replacing pros like me. All right, let's start with audio enhancement. But sound quality is why I have my job. This and my Polish smile. For years, the go-to tools were audio restoration plugins from companies like Isotope. Their flagship RX suite offered everything from denoise to the wind. However, the price was, and for advanced tier, still is quite steep, and the learning curve was uninviting. Here comes AI. Lately, we've been bombarded with loads of AI enhancers. Adobe Podcast lets you upload a file to a cloud, eliminating noise and enhancing clean speech for free. Let's have a look how AI in audio enhancement really works. So I've got a few clips here. I've recorded myself clean in English, in Polish. I've also made it so it's bad quality, and then I'll have a clip recorded outside. So me talking in English. This is an example of a bad quality audio. Let's see how AI can fix it. And that's the bad quality. This is an example of a bad quality audio. Let's see how AI can fix it. So, you know, it's not unusual to get clips like that. Let's get the enhancer and upload the English bad clip and see what it does. Oh, right, it cleaned up the English clip. Let's have a listen. This is an example of a bad quality audio. Let's see how AI can fix it. This is an example of a bad quality audio. Let's see how AI can fix it. So it did clean it up, but as you can see, it introduced a lot of artifacts and it sounds quite fake and it's because of my accent. Let's now try with the Polish clip. This is a clean one. To jest przykład źle nagranego dźwięku. Zobaczmy, czy AI może to naprawić. And that's a bad one. To jest przykład źle nagranego dźwięku. Zobaczmy, czy AI może to naprawić. Let's upload the bad one. All right, let's have a listen. To jest przykład źle nagranego dźwięku. Zobaczmy, czy AI może to naprawić. To jest przykład źle nagranego dźwięku. Zobaczmy, czy AI może to naprawić. Again, it cleaned it up, but it sort of mangled my speech, especially towards the end. Now I have another clip that I recorded for another video. It was recorded outside, there's a lot of noise, wind, passing cars. Let's have a listen. As you can hear, it's quite noisy. Wind, cars, dogs, but what if we could make it sound? Let's upload it to the enhancer. Okay, let's have a listen how it did that one. As you can hear, it's quite noisy. Wind, cars, dogs, but what? We put the negative sound. As you can hear, it's quite noisy. Wind, cars, dogs, but what? We put the negative sound. So maybe we don't have to worry quite yet. Others, such as Audio Studio, Noise Reducer or Hush, are similar applications that let you do the same. Perfect audio for free or on the cheap. Then we have more advanced tools like Descript, which is an audio text-based software that lets you edit audio by editing text. They too offer many tools to enhance it with the power of AI. And that's just the beginning. We can only imagine what comes next. For example, Maybe we won't have to record anything at all. We we'll just think it and it will appear in front of us. Professional sound included. Jokes aside, let's talk pros and cons of the speedy development of these tools. Let's start with the obvious. Accessibility, time savings and cost savings. These plugins, apps and tools are easy to use for anyone. You drag and drop the files and the perfect audio pops up at the other end. Now that saves us time because we don't have to play in Isotope RX modules or try to find the perfect one for the job. And of course, cost saving 
these tools are free, as beta of course, but they will be much cheaper than the ones of the past. It is a good thing though, right? Well, we'll get to it. Of course, the biggest plus is improved sound quality. Uh, these services will try to make your audio better, which is a good thing. Better sound means better content for everyone. But let's not just run off into the world ruled by AI. There are some concerns that others, myself included, have. I tried some of these tools before, and if you do this for work, you quickly understand that accessibility comes with caveats. The need for customization is a big one. Because yes, you can drag and drop, but that's really it for now. You don't really know what will spit out at the other end. These programs scan the speech and try to enhance it by generating a clear one on top. If you have a Polish accent, that can freak them out and produce a bit of a gibberish. I also tried it with really bad sound quality clips and it just couldn't understand the words, so it made up some stuff and chucked it on there. We also need to think how perfect the sound we want. Yes, if you recorded an interview, you want it to sound crisp and clear. But if you're working on a storytelling podcast, a film or documentary, the noisy audio, as long as it's understandable, it's part of the immersion. Audio recorded outside or on location or in crowded space. If everything sounds like it was recorded in a studio, it becomes unnatural and fake. And the last thing on the list is privacy concerns. For a lot of these tools, you need to upload the audio to the cloud. Now, when you're working on a sensitive material, that's, that's a no-go. In my job, primarily on true crime documentaries, true crime podcasts, it's not something I would try. I'm sure with time the enhancement will be local, but for now, be careful. So, is a friend or a foe? A job creator or a job destroyer? Look, this is my job. Part of it. That's how I make my bread. Am I worried though? No, at least not at the moment. If I were the CEO of Isotope, I would be. I recently upgraded to RX10 and it's good, but they need to come up with something more than a minor update to their software or they will be pushed out from the market by this cheap and fast AI tool. Why am I not worried? I am passionate about creative work, editing, pacing, mixing, scoring, and storytelling with sound. However, tasks like denoising and cleaning up dialogues are necessary but less fun. If tools could help me become 10 times better, 10 times faster, I could focus on the creative aspects of my work. Because we must remember that it's about more than just the tools themselves understanding how, when, and most importantly, why we use these tools sets us apart as professionals worth paying for. Check out my other videos about AI in audio and music. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.